Who are you? It's Law Soul, and this is Breakdown Beyond. Lost Soul is the fourth episode of Batman Beyond Season 2, original air date October 9th, 1999. For today's breakdown, we're hitting the incredibly well-executed sci-fi themes of Lost Soul. In proper DCAU Beyond fashion, we're also looking at how these themes are presented through shui future tech and the heavy influence of old-timey horror. Lost Soul is easily one of my favorite episodes of Batman Beyond, and I think it's because of how well the show is able to tell the most classic sci-fi allegories and morality tales, but just make it look cool as hell at the same time. If you like today's breakdown beyond, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. Stay tuned for weekly and bi-weekly vid series, all about the futuristic Bat Beyond. Again, many of the plot devices and imagery are presented with really creative uses of future tech and even classic horror. So the three main themes we're covering, number one, over-reliance on technology, and then two deeper and more Bat-related themes. First, is it the man or the suit? Is it the high-tech strength-enhancing suit that makes Terry a hero, or is it the man inside the suit? And finally, number three, immortality in the eternal soul. And this is where the fun horror tropes in sci-fi come together just beautifully. So first, over-reliance on technology. Terry discovers our villain of the week firsthand as he watches Neo Gotham's power grid go haywire and then almost plummeted to his own death along with Dana in an elevator. Everything controlled by a computer in the city is now controlled by the newly revived consciousness of Robert Vance. Vance was a tech pioneer from the time of old Gotham, who died 35 years prior of a debilitating brain disorder. But similar to the frozen head of Walt Disney, as we learned in the beginning, it was Vance's dream to guide the company from beyond the grave. 35 years later, his grandson Bobby meets the digital remnants of his grandfather via a gigantic Wizard of Oz looking, super haunting ghost of a projected face. Digital Vance convinces Bobby to put him online, leading to the chaos and adventure of the story. So pretty much right out the gate, this dude's ready to take down Gotham from its computerized inside out. This type of viral mass takeover of tech is clearly a threat to a future city like Neo-Gotham. And with this episode's release date of only a few months from the potential disaster and mass fear of 2000's Y2K, I wouldn't be surprised if that was part of the influence for this theme of the episode. It's extra fascinating to now have 20 plus years between this series and present day. Going back and watching a show about the future, now showing us our present. It goes without saying that a major computer virus would be catastrophic to any major city. Ironically, a vulnerability in human civilization that only seems to increase with the advancements and achievements of modern technology. Now, let's get into the more bat-related themes of Lost Soul. Is it the man or the suit? Just like Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinnis is an old-fashioned human being. No superpowers, no super strength, just a dude in a dope-ass bat suit. But a big distinction between Terry's bat suit beyond and the traditional suit is that all the high-tech advancements have given Terry super strength. And he can fly. And he can do a bunch of other super-powered stuff old-school Batman was never able to do. So when the lost digital soul of Robert Vance hacks the bat suit, Terry is forced to question his own identity and ability as a hero, which we'll get into in just a minute. Another important thing to keep in mind is that Terry isn't trained in combat and martial arts to even closely matching the hand-to-hand -hand abilities of Bruce Wayne. Not to minimize the accomplishments or potential of young Terry McGinnis, but this is an important distinction between our two Batmen that's made quite clear by the creators of Batman Beyond. In short, the new Batsuit is able to compensate for McGinnis not necessarily journeying to the Himalayas for the official Blue Flower Bat training. So again, is it the man or the suit? Without the use of the high-powered Batsuit Beyond, is Terry McGinnis still able to be Batman, or is it the suit that makes him the hero? Probably one of the best scenes in the entire series is when Terry shares this predicament with old Bruce in the Batcave. Standing at the iconic display case of the Bat family Batsuits, Bruce tries convincing Terry to sit this one out, that going after Vance without the Batsuit is far too dangerous. So it's in this moment that Terry proves himself to be a true hero. He accepts Bruce's offer to at least bring the New Adventures utility belt with him from the old suit. And for some home run Bat Family symbolism, Terry then reaches for the domino mask of Nightwing, the former Robin who strikes out on his own, returning as his own hero, his own man, the member of the Bat Family who no longer relies on the training and resources of traditional Batman. And to bring this breakdown beyond home, let's talk about immortality and the eternal soul. Again, one of my favorite things about Batman Beyond and why Lost Soul is a particular favorite, these are classic science fiction themes and even deeper questions of philosophy. 
but these age-old stories are just told in such a cool way. We get all the future tech and fun of a typical Batman Beyond story, and then we also get the strong influence of old-school horror. So first, we'll hit the tech part, and then we'll get to the fun, spooky stuff. Imagine if you could live forever. The concept of immortality is something that we as humans constantly wrestle with. In the most basic of philosophical questions, such as what does it mean to be human, each of us has an expiration date, whether we like it or not. But what if you could extend that expiration date indefinitely? In the case of Robert Vance, what if you could somehow upload your consciousness into a computer till the end of time? As they put it in the show, by digitizing your brain impulses. And then how would this consciousness fit into the idea of the eternal soul? Whatever version of that you believe, if any. And like a wide-eyed weed-smoking college freshman, Vance took every one of these Philosophy 101 questions quite literally. Though not a whole lot of moral questioning went along with this selfish desire to live forever and run a company from beyond the grave. This of course leads to Vance's digital takeover of Neo-Gotham's power grid, communication systems, and even the Batsuit Beyond. Again, everything must look cool in the Timverse, and DCAU fans know quite well how much influence there is from old-timey horror. On numerous occasions throughout the different series of the DCAU, Bruce Timm has cited his direct takes from Universal Monster Stories, Dracula as the influence for the look of Batman Beyond, for example, as well as a Boris Karloff film for the episode of Splicers. And from other vintage classics, again, Vance's gigantic projected face is clearly the Wizard of Oz himself. And then going all the way back to Batman's origins of the DCAU, Mask of the Phantasm is a direct homage to the 1941 film school classic, Citizen Kane. And fun fact, Stacy Keach, the voice of Phantasm, is also the ghastly voice of Robert Vance. Full circle, kids. The tone of this episode is also really chilling, as the main antagonist is literally haunting the city as a digitized ghost of old Gotham. And the final showdown between Terry and the Batsuit is a super brutal version of Man vs. Himself, which ties back into the question, is it the man or the suit? Once Terry accepts the hero he truly wants to be, he now has to face it head on, ultimately by impaling his beloved Batsuit and short-circuiting both the suit and the soul of Vance. And again, all this symbolism and story delivered through hyper-violent imagery of a possessed high-tech Batsuit out for revenge. Possession is another horror trope I thought was used really effectively here, namely the possession of what looks like our city's hero in the iconic Batsuit. There's also a really cool moment while Terry is fighting the Batsuit, showing just shadows of our two combatants on the wall. This also felt very much like a vintage film and old school horror. And finally, with the perfect end scene to the episode, Bruce is repairing the damaged Batsuit and confirms our main Bat theme to Terry. It's just the suit that's out of commission, not Batman. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and share this video with other Bat fans beyond who would also like this kind of content. In addition to the Breakdown Beyond series you saw today, we also have a bunch of interviews here on the channel with cast and crew from Batman Beyond, including both Batman of the Future, Kevin Conroy, and Will Friedle. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more interview content as well.